Now let's consider this polynomial, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. How many terms does it have? As you can see, there are three terms. Therefore, we call this a trinomial. Can you tell what are these numbers which are highlighted in green? They are called as coefficients because these are the numbers which are associated with the variables. Whereas, what is the difference with 3 and the 2 and 5s? As you can see, 3 is not associated with the variable. That is why it's a constant and the ones which are associated with the variable, they are the coefficients. Constants, as you can see, don't have a variable term. So how do we denote a polynomial? We denote a polynomial in the form of this, wherein we write p of x is given as 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Let's take a few more examples for polynomial. As you can see, these are a few more examples. q of y is equal to 5y cubed minus 7y squared plus 1. And r of p is equal to 2p plus 9. Now let's consider this polynomial, which is given by p of x is 9. But if you see, this one doesn't have any variable terms, it just has a constant term. And such a polynomial is called as a constant polynomial. But if the constant polynomial's value was zero, then we call this polynomial to be a zero polynomial. What is the highest power of this particular variable in this polynomial? As you can see, there are different powers, two and one, but the highest power is two. Then, in this case, we say that that is the degree of this particular polynomial. Let's consider r of p, which is 2p cubed plus 5p plus 3p raised to 5. What is the degree of this polynomial? In this case, the highest power is 5. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial is also 5. 